My computer was hacked completely. Rose Zaucha is talking about her nightmare experience where she says phone scammers manipulated, harassed and threatened her and ultimately took her for thousands of dollars. I was really scary. It all started in late September with people claiming to be from the IRS. They started in on these telephone calls to buy gift cards and they were threatening me. They were uh, t <coughs> telling me that they were watching me. The 85 year old from Bay City says their first demand was for her to head directly to her bank. After withdrawing around $14,000 from PNC Bank, Rose came here to this Kroger in Bay City where they sold her thousands of dollars worth of gift cards. Rose says she then came to the Walmart also in Bay City to purchase more gift cards, but they refused to sell to her. Rose tells us that scammers over the phone told her to then come to this Walmart here in Saginaw, where she then spent several thousand dollars more on additional gift cards. I mean, even now, I can't believe that I did that. It doesn't end there. Rose says on October 2nd, while she was hospitalized for an infection, she was notified that someone made a cash advance for more than $4,000 on her credit card. She says she's lost her feeling of security and a lot of money. $28,000. Rose says that her bank refuses to assist or reimburse her for what she considers to be fraudulent activity. She knows her money is gone and she's embarrassed that it happened. I went to Delta and I went to St. Valley and I just can't believe that I fell for this, that I, I let them do this to me. Now, there's t several types of scams out there, but something important to remember is that no business or organization would ever request gift cards as an official form of payment. Reporting in the Continuous News Center, Kate Nadolski, WNEM, TV5.